Well, good morning. Welcome back to Eric DoorDash. It is May 7th, 2024. A fine Tuesday morning. Look, I just wiped everything down, guys. It's nice. It's clean. Oh, yeah. I think we got a bright start today, guys, because as soon as I turned DoorDash and Grubhub on, I got a DoorDash order on Earn by Time. I know you're thinking, okay, well, this ain't good. But look, it's a Fazoli's catering order, guys. I'm excited. The only thing is, Fazoli's doesn't open until 10.30. I'm going to give them a call real quick. I believe in my Fazoli's. They won't let me down. I used to work at this location, so I know they got my back. It actually fit in my bag. Boop. 10 11. Well, it says it is a team meeting from Wendy's at the Comfort Inn. So, never had one of those. guys not bad let me zoom out a little bit guys I'm looking way up on my face here okay so we just started the day first order 23 bucks not sure if i would have got more base pay on that if i wasn't on our pipe time but it is what it is four dollars added on anyway guys so well we were going in i knocked on the door that the worker said was the conference room for the wendy's and i didn't realize i was standing on the wrong side of the revolving door so when she goes to open it i was like standing in her way almost got hit by the door but you know one awkward situation later we've made 23 dollars we're doing good well we were waiting here by uh panera but doordash has other plans for us guys we're going to heron 10 31 Guys, I don't know about you, but I am super excited to be here at McDonald's in here and picking up my hot cakes and chocolate milk for Hannah. We're going to have a good time, guys. We're going to have a real good time. Our order was ready in the first minute, guys. This uh, old gentleman was letting me know that his wife sent him here for donuts two hours ago. And he said, she'll have to have them for dinner because I never got the donuts. <laughs> I'm just like... Thank you for sharing your story with me, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 1040. Well, at first glance, you might think the scenery is ominous, but I have faith. guys well after dropping off for a six dollar nine mile order we ended up waiting 10 minutes in heron and got no orders drove all the way back to marion and we've waited in marion for 20 minutes and then we finally got this order here at logan's where i'm banned for filming in the store i just i was filming the bubbles in their jukebox thought it'd make a funny little loading screen yeah, they didn't like that. So I'm not allowed back in the store. They have banned me. So here we are, guys. Here we are. Uh, I had to decline. Everything we did with the $6 order, nine miles, was pointless. But here we are at La Fiesta just a few minutes later. Hopefully, hopefully making a dollar per mile. That being said, it is 11.29. I'm heading in. Wish me luck. Eleven forty-four. It has brought us to the Motel Six to drop off our order. Me and my wife stayed here once, and there was blood stains, blood stains, on our bed sheets when we got our room. Um, we took pictures, went down to the front desk to tell him about it, and uh, he refused to give us a new room and said if we didn't like the accommodations, we could have our our room refunded and possibly find a different hotel. <laughs> I said, okay. And then they never refunded the room. 
We left. We never got our money back. It is now 12 13. Exciting stuff, guys. We're back in Marion once again. We've waited around for five to ten minutes. And here we are at Panera. Wish me luck. Awesome. Well, it took ten minutes, but we got it. 12 34. Oh, it's the only house on the freaking block with no uh, address on it. Uh, judging from the one on the before and after houses. I did right through a place. Yeah. Well, it is now 12.39. We were lucky enough to get an order here at the Marion Fast Stop, which was like a block away from where we were. But uh, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to pull into the driveway, or the uh, drive through the way I want, so I'm gonna go park. It was ready. 12.57, just finished dropping that off. They were both waiting outside for me in those chairs there, so no footage. Well, guys, Grubhub just offered us a Dairy Queen order. That's the first time I've ever seen an order at Dairy Queen in my zone on Grubhub. But it was $4, so I did just uh, decline it. And then I got a DoorDash and a Grubhub at the exact same time. DoorDash taking us 10 miles south to Wendy's. Grubhub wants us to go 20 miles for $14 uh, west to Carbondale. Which one's the best order? I went ahead and declined the uh, Grubhub because I need to get my rating up on DoorDash. I don't want to decline it. Let's hope that uh, the Wendy's has it. Every every time I go to this Wendy's south of town, they tell me that uh, they do not have any DoorDash orders. So hopefully that's not the case. Well, here we are, guys. Here we are at uh, Dan's Famous Pizza, The Big Slice. I mean, Road Rangers. I mean, Wendy's. We're 10 miles south of Marion. 10 miles south. Once you're south of Marion, the only places you can get an order with is this Wendy's or the Dollar General next to Lake of Egypt. That's it. And on my way here, I was so lucky that I actually just got an add-on for the same Wendy's adding on five extra miles. We're already 10 miles south. There's no way I'm declining it, guys. I mean, that's just, what's the odds? They're both ready. 128. Well, guys, it has brought us to a uh, troop, which is like some animal hospital, I think. Veterinary services, yeah. That's what I thought. I've never been here, but I drive past it every time I have to drive south. Well, I did not check the name. All right, well, it was the one with the uh, lemonade thing. We got it handed off. Get this zipped up. Get going. Yeah, uh, it said, leave at door. I thought it'd probably be wiser just to go inside and hand it to the associate that is probably ordering the food. You know, if I left it at the door, it's going to become dog food when one of these dogs come outside. So... Probably not a good idea. 138. Please put ketchup in the bag. Well, hopefully the store did that. Because I did not. Not ripping open your bag to do that anyway. is now 156 it ended up sending us a 14 or 15 dollar 20 mile order for tequilas but we were still six miles out of town that's a dollar per mile once we're here i guess you know, 
Oh my god, it's windy. So we're gonna do it real quick. Real quick. Two seventeen eighteen. Oh, we're way out here. We are way out here. <laughs> I accidentally put you in my sweater. <laughs> my bad, guys. Won't happen again, I promise. It's 4.05 now. <laughs> Well, there we have it. We got our bread. We got our two bottles of ketchup. We were not able to get our half gallon of whole milk because they didn't have whole milk. They only had 2%. The customer did not respond to any texts or phone calls. So, you know, we did our due diligence. 424. It would appear our customer has also ordered McDonald's. And where was our batch order? Who knows? Who knows? They kind of parked in the bush, but that's okay. Hey, okay. We got it under control. Four thirty six. Back to Marion we are. At La Fiesta we is. La Fiesta. I still feel embarrassed every time I come here now after dropping that food the other day. Lord have mercy. Well, one minute later, here we are. Four fifty two. Please don't ring doorbell or knock. We don't need to get the dogs involved. Understood? getting a Dairy Queen order on Grubhub. This is my second Dairy Queen offer today, and I've never received Dairy Queen offers on Grubhub before, so I think it's a new thing. All right, our order was getting finished up when we got in there. I asked the worker and she confirmed that it is new on Grubhub. They just started doing it today. 5.15. You guys hold the food, I will hold the chocolate shake. We'll get through this delivery together. DoorDash has given us the China Walk order, guys. We are going 10 miles into Heron, and the customer has changed their instructions to say, please include chopsticks. It's going to Hucks. Awesome. All right, we will do so. We will do just that. 
All right, we shoved one pair of chopsticks in the bag for him. Not, uh, not sure how many pair they wanted. They did not specify, so I grabbed one. Since it is going to Hux, it's safe to assume it's all going to one person. That could be wrong. Could be wrong. They'll be jealous watching one person eat with chopsticks and the other one won't be eating with chopsticks. You know, I might have just caused them to get a bad fortune cookie. 5.48. One drive to here and later. We're at Tux. The Wendy's order. We did it. Ready and waiting. Get this zipped up real quick. There we go. And I will hand these off to my wife. I'm sure she'll be thrilled to find out that she has to hold stuff. Just roll the window down. There you go. Have fun. Oh, 6.09. 6.29. We ended up stopping at the McDonald's across the street over there here in Carterville. Waited a couple minutes and it paid off because we ended up getting a tequila's order here. Since I pick it up. Well, all right, guys. Tequila's had it ready. Get it zipped up. Get going. 56 we dropped that off and then Grubhub went off with another Carterville tequilas and it was nine dollars on mile but you know we're here we're gonna do it huh the worker asked me if I had sent someone else in to get the order I was like no he goes well someone else was here asking for the exact same order so I'm just like no, no, dude. He's like, well, we had just got it in. It wasn't ready, so that's what I told him. I said, it sounds like he didn't want to wait, and he abandoned it and gave it to me, brother. <laughs> that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Seven oh nine. It is 7.22. Right after dropping that order off, we ended up getting a batch order on Grubhub going to uh, It's Just Wings and Chili's, which is both okay. the same place. I don't know why. They have like a grill, a ghost kitchen scenario going here. But we're here now. It was just, it was we're six or seven of the, it said 19 miles or whatever. We were six or seven of those were getting to the store. So not bad. You know, we had to drive this distance anyway to get to a store. So we're gonna head inside, pick it up, guys. All right, well, there's one. And there's two. Took like 10 minutes, but we got them both. Well, goodbye, Chili's. 7.43. All right, got our order out, got it re-zipped up so the other one does not get forgotten since it has to go all the way to Murfreesboro.
Just don't mention the way I parked and we'll be okay. We'll be oh okay. Oh my god. I didn't even realize you're half <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. We're doing great. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Well, I can't see an address to save my life. But, once again, I can see the house over here's address. And that one looks like it's burnt down. Definitely not that one. Definitely not that house. <laughs> Eight twenty-two. No orders in Murfreesboro, but that's okay. That's okay because we drove all the way back to Carbondale just to get a door to Ashton Hill, is where we just came from. <laughs> well, it looks promising. Eight thirty-six. Well, after driving through a gated road. And looking at a house this nice, I want to say they tipped, because I remember delivering here the other day. I want to say that they tipped, but I remember delivering to a place that looked really nice last week, and there was no tip. <laughs> so, could be either one. I can't remember if this is that place or not. It is now 9.24. Looks like we need to fill up on gas in the morning, guys. I'm too lazy to do it right now. Well, as you can see, we have pulled up at my house for the night. Not a bad shift, guys. You know, we ended up making, I think between Grubhub and DoorDash, we ended up making $180. We drove 200 miles, but the last 20 or so miles was getting back to our house from Carbondale. So... Not bad, we made a dollar per mile before we uh, quit and came home. Good shift, good shift. I'm glad you guys stick, stick, stuck with me tonight, but uh, I hope you enjoyed everything. <laughs> and try that again. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys stuck with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed everything. That's going to be it for me. I will see you again on the next episode of Eric DoorDash. Thanks again. Bye.